Hi, my name's Damon and I'm with Sound Off Signal. Today we are in the shop. Um, I apologize ahead of time, you're probably going to hear some background noise, maybe some fans or a car passing by from time to time. Um, it is a shop after all. So, What we're here to talk about today, well it's a little bit different than my normal videos. Normally you see me up here and I'm doing something on how to program a light or this light's new feature um, or how to use our computer program for whatever reason. But today we're all about abusing some lights. So take a look here. We're going to take our Empower off-road lights and we're going to put them to the test alongside a couple other brands of lights. Take a look at them in this video. Here we have our 6x1 and our 2x1 and they're both getting beat on with gravel in a gravel machine. Really what it's doing is it's throwing gravel at these lights at about 85 miles an hour. We're viewing it in slow motion so you can actually see the hits. All right. But that's really not a good indicator of what's going to happen in the field, like in the off-road industry. So if, let's say that this was on a trophy truck and you are doing the Baja 1000 and you take a good hit to the front end, whether you, you came down too hard and uh, you know, dug in or something like that, you know, what's going to happen to the light in that case? We've got things like, you know, to take in account is the bracket. Is the bracket going to hold up? Is the light going to keep going straight? Um, does the light itself take the hit? Okay. What's the vibration do to that light? Because you've got vibration. I mean, these we're talking big horsepower trophy trucks racing through the desert in high heat. What worse conditions could there be for a light? So let's take a look at the lights down here. From left to right, we've got seven different lights. The three on the left are what we consider pod lights, and the four on the right, those are your typical, you know, single row type lights. Now these lights are all, for the most part, marketed as the same type of light. You know, we've got pod lights and we've got just the single row lights and they're all about six inches wide. So we're really putting equivalent lights to the test. Now we're, again, we're gonna test this for vibration. We're gonna test for a direct impact onto the actual, you know, the polycarbonate or in the case of uh, our Empower lights, we're gonna test a direct impact onto the silicone. We're also going to test for how the bracket holds up and then finally, after each test, we're going to turn the light on and see what, what the light looks like afterwards. So what's the tool we're going to use for this? Well, I'm glad you asked. We're doing something a little bit different. We thought about using maybe a hammer or something like that, or maybe a chisel. And we came up with the idea of let's combine those. We're going to use this guy right here, the biggest, baddest air hammer on the market, the Snap-on Super Duty Industrial Air Hammer. Okay, so let's, let's get going on this. Um, here we go. Okay, here's the first light. Here we go. Wow, you can see that. Broke the lens down there, pointed the light down. Let's hit it again up higher this time, see what happens. Yeah, so obviously a big rock's going to get this thing turning, and that's, that's probably because it's got a single bolt anchor point. And let's fire it up and see what happens. And now that it's fired up, you can see that this one did turn on. Now, you're not really seeing the reflection pad on the opposite wall that that's shining at, but we do have a little bit of a light refraction going on, probably because of the cracks, which is expected, so uh, just, just worth noting. All right, let's move on to the next light. Okay, here we go. So let's see what this one does. Well, that one just took an angle, did a, took a better job on the other one. Um, but on the inside, you can't really see it from the camera angle. You'll see it afterwards uh, when I do the uh, video, but there's bits and pieces on the inside that have broke loose. So here we have a different angle and we're going to turn the light on. Um, let's, let's see what it looks like. Now I did notice that there are some, uh, the couple of the actual LEDs broke loose. You can't really see them from the angle you're at, but you're going to see it when I turn the light on. Okay. So we just turned this one on and you can see that only half the LEDs are working. Um, now remember I didn't hit this one incredibly hard like I did the first one just because it, it changed its uh, direction so quickly. So this is a, uh, this is a good indication of what vibration can do uh, to a light. All right, let's move on to the next light, our M-Power off-road uh, two by one. Yeah, 
So we're at a closer up angle now of the light and you can see that there is some scarring on the light from the air hammer, which is totally expected. Uh, the air hammer does jump around a bit, but if you look at the lens, um, and I'm gonna zoom in a little bit on the lens. If you look at the lens, there's really no scarring on it. All right, so let's go ahead and fire it up. And you can see that it is working with no issues. That gives you an idea uh, of the durability of this light. So now we're gonna move on to the next light. So here we go on the next light. Let's see how this one handles. All right, here we go. Wow. Wow. Double wow. I mean, I just caught the poly. This one's obviously no good. I am not going to do a application test for this light just because it broke off. So we're going to leave this one uh, as it is for the time being. Let's move on to the next light. Okay, here we go. So now onto these shorter, wider ones, although that's what this guy was, was a shorter, wider one, but you know, that's probably one you don't want to get right there. All right, here we go. Look at that tilted straight up. So, I mean, a big rock's going to do that. Now let's, I want to beat on it a little bit more. I want to see how it does. I'm going to give it a little down angle. Even with down angle, it's pointing up. Let's try that one more time. Down angle. Yeah, so lens wise, this one did okay, but mounting wise, uh, I'm not gonna give it a, a big uh, happy score for that. Here's a different angle of this, and let's go ahead and turn this one on. And nothing. Well, that's not good. Uh, let's take a look here. Oh, it's blew the fuse. Let's try another fuse. And it blew another fuse. It looks like the vibration got to it and killed it. All right, here we go. So let's see how this one does. Now, just to give you an idea, I'm not putting a lot of uh, weight on these things. In fact, I'm leaning back onto my knee right now and my arm is kind of like right here, just supporting it. So let's see how this one does. Wow. Shattered the lens. That was a quick hit. Let's give it another one. Give it a different spot. Whoa. That's cool. Went right through it. Very cool. Okay, so I'm actually going to zoom in on this one uh, quite a ways. Um, so see here as we zoom in, you can see all these little pieces that are showing right down here. Uh, those are actually the LEDs for that light and every single one of them was knocked off uh, during the process. So I'm not going to go ahead and try to turn this one on. I, I don't think we're going to get any results out of it. Let's move on to the last light, which is the Empower 6x1 off-road light. All right, this is our 6x1. Okay. So again, we do have some scarring on the Empower light. Um, I expected that. Again, it was an air hammer. So the light itself, the lens itself, if you look at it, it's actually in really good shape. Um, there's a little bit of pitting and stuff like that just from the air hammer because that was a pointed chisel bit. But overall, condition-wise, it does look to be in good shape. So I'm going to go ahead and fire it up now and let's see how it actually uh, reacts. So here we go. That was cool. It's not every day I get to do that. So you can really see how the Empower lights held up. There's not really a whole lot of damage to the lens. I mean, they're sure there's some pitting and stuff like that, but that's to be expected. They did just take some major impacts from a, uh, an air hammer. So I think it's safe to say that these lights can really take the abuse. Well, that's all I've got for today. Till next time.